Hey guys, just doing an update on the VanQuest Cache 2.0. Uh, I've been carrying it for a month now, and I'll probably do an update in somewhere around six months to a year's time, because uh, it's a wallet and I think it needs it, because uh, they should last a long time. But uh, I'm sure there's people that are interested in buying and want to see some videos, so I wanted to get this one out there. And uh, just to compare it, this is my uh, other wallet. I haven't used it since getting the VanQuest, but I've always used a leather wallet, but I wanted to try something different. And uh, while right now this doesn't have any cards in it, it does have stuff on the inside, but not in the card slots. This is about as uh, thick as it normally is though. So. As you can see, this actually gets thicker because there's stuff inside of it. There's nothing in it right now. But this is about as thick as it is. So it's quite a bit slimmer. Now for anybody that's a minimalist, VanQuest has a smaller one, uh, VanQuest Vault. So that one, if you like less stuff, that one's RFID as well and I'd suggest maybe looking at that. For anyone that just likes carrying a regular amount of stuff or they carry a lot of stuff, this will hold a lot of stuff. Everything I had in here, everything, fit in here and was still slim. I keep, you know, several cards in each slot and then this is a huge pouch right here. Um, really big. Um, and while it's slim, I'd say for me, the only thing is because I don't wear any big cargo pants or anything, so sometimes my pockets are a little small. And while it's slim, as you can see, it's longer this way and this way. So it's a little bigger dimensional wise. So that's something to think about. But uh, it's not that expensive, uh, especially in US dollars, but in Canadian. Um, it, you know, it's about twenty dollars U.S. So, in Canadian, you know, it's it's not that expensive, um, but I think it's worth trying out if you're looking for a slimmer option. This is all the RFID material, and the ones before actually had orange um, kind of that rip stop material here. This one they did a line with the same gray and I actually uh, contacted them. They said they would because uh, uh, I, I was interested in the in the orange um, and they said they were gonna go back to doing that. Um, I unfortunately still have this one but I had nothing wrong with it. I just uh, like that the interior of a lot of VanQuest stu uh, stuff is uh, brightly colored so it's easier to th uh, see things but uh, but yeah I mean other than that uh, it's been a month and so far the materials holding up uh, fine I'm not seeing fraying or, or anything like that which I would hope not to uh, no matter what the cost of the wallet and uh, so it's holding up fine and um, yeah, if you're looking for a, a very slim wallet, but uh, yeah, remember the dimensions depending on what type of wallet you like to, to carry. It's, it's a little uh, longer. You can see you got card slot here, card slot here. So, remember to think about that. But I, I definitely re recommend this. It's um, RFID protection, and uh, I think if you're going to go with a wallet, leather or otherwise definitely nowadays want to go, go towards something that has that um, you don't want your identity stolen or or you know your bank accounts emptied um, and then uh, if you're someone that carries a lot of stuff this has huge pocket in here huge pocket um, so it'll be able to take everything you need and yeah, if you're a min minimalist, although I don't have the VanQuest uh, Vault, I mean, it's built the same way. 
um, just uh, you know obviously it's a lot smaller so um, it'll be a little different on the inside I would just uh, look for all the specs and everything on their website I'm not going to go through them because it's easily looked up um, just want to tell you that I think it's a good product and definitely worth the money so have a good one